Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we'd like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but well, this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, the reparations conversation is not going away, you know, no time soon. And there was a, you know, woman that came on, uh, Don Lemon actually on CNN. And, you know, this also going to relate to, you know, the new movie, uh, the woman King and why, you know, some people including myself, you know, took issue with some of that because it's a bigger message that I'm seeing. Um, that's coming out of that just it just being a movie itself. But let's go ahead and roll this clip real quick because uh, yeah, this lady is, is she's gonna make you shake your head. You know, you have all of this vast wealth. Those are legitimate concerns. Well, I think you're right about reparations in terms of if people want it though, what they need to do is you always need to go back to the beginning of a supply chain. Where was the beginning of the supply chain? That was in Africa, and when that crossed the entire world, when slavery was taking place, which was the first nation in the world that abolished slave, uh, slavery? The first nation in the world to abolish it. It was started by William Wilberforce, was the British. In, in Great Britain, they abolished slavery. 2,000 naval men died on the high seas trying to stop slavery. Why? Because the African kings were rounding up their own people. They had them on cages waiting in the beaches. No one was running into Africa to get them. And I think you're totally right. If reparations need to be paid, we need to go right back to the beginning of that supply chain and say, who was rounding up their own people and having them handcuffed in cages? Absolutely, that's where they should start. And maybe, I don't know, the descendants of those families where they died at the, in the high seas trying to stop the slavery, that those families should receive something too, I think, at the same time. Now, did you catch that toward the end that basically this woman is saying that white people need reparations? Did you catch that? I just want to make sure you caught that part. But, but let's go back to this now there, you know, now that the reparations conversation is actually becoming global within a diaspora. And yes, we started talking about it here in America, but now you got people in the African continent talking about it. You got uh, people uh, in the Caribbean talking about reparations. Oh, it's, it's a, it's a big conversation now. And everybody say, Hey, wait a minute. Y'all owe money for this, this, you know, for colonization and slavery. So what they're trying to do now, they're trying to say, oh, well, you know, hey, them Africans, see, they, they the one did it. Look, they, they had brought the slaves and they had them in cages and we didn't just go capture them all. I mean, sure, we actually just, um, you know, picked them up. Let, let's go with that lady. Let's, go, let's just go with that 100% that all the Africans, which was so untrue. Were they some tribes involved? Sure, yes. The, the homie tried to be one of them. The, the homie Amazons, yes, they was part of it. Sure. But if we go with what you say, this is where you still are responsible. What happened to your love of Jesus? Remember when you came to the African continent, you came as missionaries. What happened to your love of Jesus? Why you didn't say, Hey, uh, Africans that is wrong because Jesus does not want no one in cages. Jesus say you don't kill people, you don't harm people, you love your neighbor as yourself. Release your fellow uh, Africans and you know, you work with them. This is not the love of Jesus. You didn't bring no love of Jesus to the slave trade. Matter of fact, you went to the Pope and you had your boats commissioned and blessed by the Pope to go pick up slaves. So don't act like you are innocent and it's all the Africans. Cause one thing you're not going to do, you're not going to put this on the, all in the African continent. Cause I know you, I know you, I know you very well. Other people don't know you, but I know you. The Africans didn't tell you to take them and ship them out to all these different nations. The Africans didn't help you colonize all the nations that you colonize throughout the world. We talking about Britain. 
You colonized the majority of the world. Did Africans help you with that too? No, they did not. Why do you think they were Indian people that were celebrating the queen not being here anymore? Why do you think there were some Asian people that were celebrating? Some Africans, some Caribbeans were celebrating that the queen couldn't. Everybody didn't like that queen like that. The issue is this, and this goes back to the movie, The Woman King. The narrative from the white supremacists now is, well, y'all was the one that sold them to us. So y'all shouldn't get no reparations from us. Y'all should get it from them. And this has been a little narrative. And then now this woman King movie pops up. And then the crazy part is, is that what black women, the black women that's celebrating that don't realize is that they trying to make y'all a central figure in rounding up your own people in a, in a Hollywood movie. Y'all don't get what these people are, the messaging behind what these people are doing. Y'all see some of y'all are so surface thinking. It's a shame. You're not thinking what's underneath the, the true messaging that's coming out of these Hollywood movies, what they're saying in the news, what they're saying in Hollywood through a movie like that. Listen, Lapita Nyong'o had got that script way before Viola, Viola Davis. Okay. She actually did the research. She went to Benin. She did the research. She found out the true brutality of the Dahomey Amazons. That woman broke down and cried and said, I cannot do that. I can't do this movie. Cause she found out the truth of really what happened there. And Lupita is from Kenya. And shout out to Lupita. That's why she didn't want to participate in that movie. Cause she could have participated in that movie. She had the opportunity since 2018 when they brought the script to her. Some of y'all are silly. Y'all don't understand Hollywood messaging. It's just a movie. Y'all just go see it. It's good. Oh, oh yeah. Make, oh yeah. Hollywood is great at making movies. They some of the, they're the top in the world with it, but Hollywood is a form of media and it's a form of messaging. And the messaging is saying black women and black people, Africans, y'all was involved in the slave trade. So we don't owe reparations. Go ask them. This white woman say, well, you should have, well, the people that tried to stop it, they deserve reparations. Well, the reason why they stopped it is because y'all colonized the African continent. Why, if you ship out all the slaves to the new world, who's going to build a, the African colonies that you had? Britain, Nigeria was a colony of yours. You going to ship out all the Nigerians you need them to build Britain? I mean, uh, Nigeria, Ghana was a con a colony of yours. Kenya was a colony of yours. Y'all had to, you know, when, when the brothers and sons of King tried to fight back, how y'all uh, slaughtered them. Y'all have some atrocities y'all done in the African continent. So don't, so miss me with the, well, it's the Africans. Go talk to them. No, no, no. Cause not every African tribe participated in that mess. And it was only a, a certain ones on the West coast of Africa. It wasn't all, all the brothers and sisters in the African continent participating in that. No, they wasn't. We, listen, you always had a raccoon class in the, in the black community, African community. You always had that. You still got it. Now the people that did that were the raccoon class. Of course the, the homies got, they just, they just do because they don't exist anymore. All that they done. And a lot of y'all put them in slavery too. This is why y'all laugh when, 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 when black folks say king and queen is because a lot of y'all, them saying kings and queens that was giving y'all slaves, y'all went rounding them up too. And say, yeah, okay, king and queen, okay, like that, and laugh about it. I know, I know your history. The same people that was trading slaves with you, you put them in slavery too. Yeah, one thing I will not do, like I will not let y'all come up here and put the sole blame of slavery on Africans. That's just not going to happen. I refuse for it to happen because that's a freaking lie. It's a lie from the pit of hell. But y'all let me know what y'all think about, you know, this woman here and Don Lemon, shame on you too. Shame on you, Don Lemon, because you should have sat up there and, and told that woman about herself and her people. You stay quiet and that's why you're losing your evening show. So when you stay on cold with black people, we come to your defense. Nobody come to your defense and you sold us out way too many times. Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved African diaspora news.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time 
they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on AfricanDiasporaNews.org, we can speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today.